Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Moniz and welcome to episode number five of What's In Your Bag. Now before we begin, I have to choose a winner from the last four episodes. And the way I do that is very simple. I just take the winners, throw them in a random number generator, and whoever comes out first wins. So that winner happens to be Brianna. Congratulations, you won yourself a brand new LG G pad and I will be messaging you shortly to get your information. Well, this week is a start to a fresh four weeks and today we have Sean who is a filmmaker and photographer and Changs who is a blogger, photographer, and a student. So I'm gonna start off with Sean. And Sean says, hi Matt, I am a filmmaker. I've worked on films like Real Steel, Transformers, Batman vs Superman, and Suicide Squad. My job from project to project varies, but I'm usually an editor of some sort. For example, on Suicide Squad and Batman vs Superman, I was the video playback editor. Well thank you Sean for submitting your bag, your job sounds absolutely awesome. And Sean's bag of choice happens to be the Swiss Gear Synergy Backpack. It supports laptops up to 15 inches, has comfortable back straps, a padded computer pocket, and a place to put your smartphone. This backpack retails for around $80 US. Now in his bag he carries the 17 inch Asus G752VS OC Edition gaming laptop. Now I've reviewed this bad boy and it has a GTX 1070 inside and is a complete gaming beast. Sean says his laptop sticks out of his bag a bit and he mostly uses it for video editing. His mouse of choice is the Asus Cerberus Gaming Mouse, which is a solid and affordable gaming mouse that retails for around $30 US. For headphones, Sean rocks the Bose AE2 around ear headphones. He uses them because they're great for noise cancellation and he feels they don't leak as badly as other headphones such as Beats. Sean also recently started using a DJI Phantom 3 for his vlog. He has a channel called Shaman Entertainment, which I'll place a link in the description down below. He says it doesn't obviously fit in his bag, but he straps it to the outside using Velcro straps. His on-the-go camera is the Canon T2i with a 50mm Canon lens that he says is attached at all times. But he also has a Canon C100 as well that he uses for more professional work and it obviously doesn't fit in his bag. Sean also carries a second Canon lens in his bag. It's a 24 to 105 millimeter lens, which he says is very versatile and allows him to get a ton of different shots. It also has great range for what he uses it for. Now, since Sean takes a lot of photos and videos, he needs something he can back it up on. And his go-to portable drive is a one terabyte Seagate drive, which retails for around $60. And last is a Joby grip tight that he uses for his smartphone as a tripod to film videos or a stand to watch movies. So that wraps up everything in Sean's bag. The only thing he didn't mention is what smartphone he uses as his daily driver. If you can let me know in the comments below, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much for submitting your photos. So here's what Chang has to say. And he says, hello Matthew, I am a student, photography enthusiast, and part-time blogger. I use my gear mostly for school, media consumption, and editing photos for my Flickr account. I hope my submission is featured in the upcoming episode. Now Chang's bag of choice is the OGIO Squadron Pack. It retails for about $90 US, but has space for a laptop, a padded tablet sleeve, and a panel to help keep you organized. There's a dual mesh and dual fleece line pocket for a camera. His main computer is a MacBook Pro 15 inch early 2013, and it packs a Core i7, eight gigabytes of RAM, along with a 256 gigabyte SSD. It's more than powerful enough to edit his photos, do his schoolwork, and play the odd game. This can be bought used for around $1,000 US. Also inside his bag is a 9.7 inch iPad Pro with 32 gigabytes of storage space, which he probably uses to sketch and do some of his blogging work. He also has an Apple Pencil to go with it. Now he also carries a second stylus around, and that's the Adonit Jot Pro. It's much cheaper than the Apple Pencil, but it has a fine point tip and a good backup in case your Apple Pencil isn't charged or you forgot it at home. To keep his iPad Pro protected and his pencil stored, he uses a Logitech Create backlit keyboard case with smart connector. This retails for around $130 US, and in my opinion is a much better keyboard than Apple's offering. Now it's quite obvious Chang prefers Apple products and it's no surprise that his daily driver is the iPhone 6s 64 gigabyte in space gray. But sometimes Chang likes to rock it old school and whips out his six year old Nokia C300 feature phone. It's crazy that thing even still works. His headphones of choice are the Powerbeats 2 wireless in-ear headphones. These are his go-to Bluetooth earbuds. They're in red and black and great for the gym. But he also has a wired pair of headphones, the Soul Republic 1211 on ears. They're interchangeable and he has three different colors that he can play around with. 
And since Chang is into photography, he carries a Canon T5i in his bag, along with the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. But he also has a Canon EF 75 to 300 lens that he can use for longer ranges. To store all of his photos and schoolwork, he has an older one terabyte Toshiba Canvio hard drive that he carries for backup. Now when Chang is alone, he loves to have a dance party and he uses the Sony SRS X2 NFC Bluetooth speaker. It's an older model and can be probably found used for around $50. It got good reviews and can also do things like take phone calls. And last, Chang carries around a few accessories like an ultra 64 gigabyte micro SD card with adapter for his camera, a six foot lightning to USB cable from Radio Shake, a Leatherman micro multi-tool and two extra batteries for his camera. All right, so that wraps up Chang's bag. Thank you so much, Chang, for submitting your photos. As always, don't forget to vote for your favorite bag by clicking on the link in the description down below. Also, just to let everyone know, I haven't chosen a prize yet for the winner of the next four episodes. I'm still thinking on it. I'll let you guys know in the next episode or maybe two episodes from now. Um, or maybe I'll make it a mystery prize. Let me know what you guys prefer in the comments below. Also, if you love this video and you like this series, feel free to share it. Let's get the word out there so that the series can grow and we can get a lot more bags in here anyways guys that wraps up episode number five of what's in your bag i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did smash that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe and as always i will see you in the next episode